Some say that writing about music's like dancing about architecture But dancing's often about architecture Dancers' bodies comment on the space they're moving in It's music that's hard to measure Now let me start the lecture See, music is magical Y'all act as if there's some unwritten rule That the word magic ain't permissible But y'all look like some bitter fools Trying to ridicule just cause my written school It's language that you learn to avoid In your scholar written school But it plays a descriptive role We live in a visual culture And most art is seen But music is invisible It's so ephemeral Not to mention full of amazing Historical, social, and psychological associations How else am I supposed to say it? Try to put it in your own terms It won't work no sir, and we've been so sure since so sir Wrote that quote where he said that nothing can be reduced to words Not even words, not even those words In academia, y'all need to start respecting bellatrism And in journalism, y'all are hella priggish Man, I swear if y'all don't get to fixin' yourselves I'm splittin' like cell division Y'all don't sell the vision, you're seldom printin' The stellar written style I'm talking about hey, Style I'm talking about When it's coming to style, they coppin' out If you're riding a wild, I'm clockin' out Show me that style I'm talking about, hey, style I'm talking about. When it's coming to style, they copping out. If you're riding a wild, I'm clocking out. You shouldn't be riding what you say about rock and roll. Unless you be riding like you're playing rock and roll. You shouldn't be riding what you say about rock and roll. Unless you're riding styles like you're playing rock and roll. We can't capture the magic in words, but at least we can approximate it Using our limited language, and that's what Lester Bangs did Yeah, he might use some slang, kid, but there aren't cliches in his writing No, it's mystifying without having condescending tones or vagueness And then there's Anthony to Curtis I ain't really cool with him currently He's someone I'd rather be curt with But I'ma still do him the courtesy of reading his work word for word You see, he called Bangs' writing insultingly indulgent The kind of adolescent self-aggrandizement that makes it impossible for literate human beings to take rock criticism at all seriously. Well maybe rock and roll just isn't that serious To Curtis, you know what my theory is? It's that you just can't handle mysterious How do you expect to capture experiences When you ain't even half of a lyricist? You got no shock cause you're so soft with your prose dog When I read, the stones persisted in their love of blues By covering Slim Harpo's shake your hips I almost dozed off Just don't talk like a robot Only to show rigor, homie go figure See you painting Banes as a cult figure Think you maybe hate cause you're no bigger as a stones critic But if you wanna write intelligent adult discourse Mission failed your prose isn't really the style I'm talking about. Hey, style I'm talking about. When it's coming to style, they copping out. If you're riding a wild, I'm clocking out. Show me that style I'm talking about. Hey, style I'm talking about. When it's coming to style, they copping out. If you're riding a wild, I'm clocking out. You shouldn't be riding what you say about rock and roll. Unless you be riding like you're playing rock and roll. You shouldn't be riding what you say about rock and roll. Unless you're riding styles like you're playing rock and roll. This next author's name is Whiteley. Now, how do I say this nicely? Mm. Her essays unsightly With broad generalizations blindly Using sources that are journalistic Coupled with some careless phrase and high key Not to mention that one line where she plagiarized me I ain't finna take it lightly The carelessness to take precisely What I said when she should quote But put those words in her book No footnote Show me some good prose Cause formality doesn't redeem the banality Of all her phrases bruh Saying stuff like became a massive certainty Or there is the implication of But to be fair Whiteley's writing academically and generally journalists tend to be better presenting their messages legibly But even some academics such as Susan McClary can have the propensity to write poetically Drafting phrases like peculiar, almost throttled intensity McClary reminds me of Bangs, how he was okay with making it juvenile Cause in rock and roll, when you make mistakes, they're often taken as beautiful Most rock stars don't learn to play from getting formal training in studios So to write about rock and roll, you got to do the same and embrace the unusual